everybody and welcome back to Dana's Coloring Obsession. It is that time of the month. <laughs> Our finished pages. Um, I got 16 done this month, which was good. I still didn't get everything I wanted done, <laughs> done, which is my MO. But, um, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty happy that I got those 16 pages done. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, it's nice and sunny where I'm at, so I'm enjoying that sunshine. And yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, I'm going to start out with um, a work in progress that I tried really hard to get done um, in March. Um, it was for a hashtag for Christina's Art Corner's um, birthday. Her birthday month was March, and she wanted us to color any eerie page. And I chose this Thumbelina page, and I was trying really hard to get it done, and I just didn't. So I'm um, working on it. Um, all of this is like the lily pads and the blue flowers and things are based with um, acrylic paint pen and I'm going to do some shading and stuff on those but all I really have left are these lilies and her and the water and the background but so I'm going to get that done in the next couple of days sorry Christina I tried <laughs> but I hope you had a wonderful birthday anyways I'm sure that it was wonderful and I think I saw um she did a little slideshow of the people that did participate and I thought that was super fun so yay I should do something like that for my birthday when it comes up in June. So anyways, I'm working on that. Hopefully get that done today if I can. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> and let's jump into those finished pages. Uh, no particular order. I'm going to be doing... Um, I, I basically have the smaller books on top and the larger books on the bottom. That's just how it is. <laughs> so... Next, first um, is Mina Rise Dirch Africa by Rita Berman. And I got my first page done in here um, with the lovely um, Katie from The Coloring Angel. And we did this Fennec Fox page. And actually, since several of my books are smaller, I'm going to zoom in real quick. And like I said, it's my first page in this book. Um, lots of bling. <laughs> and I used Black Widows for the pencils. I used Calero watercolors, White Signo for in the eyes. Um, and this goes for March Color Your Hoard. Uh, 2024 and again it's a buddy color with Katie um, I followed the color um, palette sort of um, of my colorful country life Karen she did hers in turquoises and and browns and tans and things um, and I really loved the colors so I did mine like that as well um, I did my own thing, however, but same colors, and that's where I got it. <laughs> so yeah, she's super cute. Love her. Lots of bling with my Calero paints. Really enjoyed that. So yeah, that was that one. And I'm gonna slide mine over here and put Katie's here. Katie did such a wonderful job. Loved hers. She has like a color scheme or a palette that she's been using on several pages in this book um, that I really think is cool. So thank you, Katie, for buddy coloring with me, especially getting my first page in this book done. I'm so excited um, since it is one of my top 20 that I want to get finished first. So I have my first page done <laughs> in this book. Okay, and I had a buddy color in Fur Balls by Dan DeFore with my sister Amy. 
and we did this kitty page. <laughs> and I used Black Widows again, um, some black Jelly Roll Glaze and um, Jelly Roll Stardust on the um, butterflies. I don't know if you can see it. Not really. It's there though. <laughs> And um, yeah, I really enjoyed this page, had a lot of fun with it. It was very cute and fun and quick. And those pages are always nice to have. And let me scooch mine over and show you my sister's. Hers was wonderful. I loved her gray kitty. So thank you, Amy, for the body color. That marks four pages done now. In this book for me yay <laughs> that's awesome so that was that one and I got one more page done in my enchanted faces book by Hannah Lynn um, I wanted to get more than one done but that's life and I did this for the hashtag um, for Jamie's coloring love um, portrait Portrait Year of Color, um, 2024, and it was the whole green hair thing. And um, I used my Polychromos, Tule Art, um, Jelly Roll Glaze on her eyelashes, um, Super Golden Marker um, uh, to trace and color in the dragonflies. And I did use some Mod Podge Glitter Extreme on the dragonfly's wings. See that sparkle and shine? <laughs> but yeah, so that was that page. And that marks how many? One, two, three, four, five, six done in here. Woohoo! <clears throat> All right, and then I got um, a page done, a buddy color done in A Million Magical Creatures. And this was my very first buddy color with my stepdaughter, Anna. And I was super excited that she reached out to me and wanted to color with me. I was so excited. And she loves this book, so this is the one that she wanted to color in. So we chose... Well, she chose, I asked her to pick <laughs> this one. And I um, used my Poly Chromos pencils and some Thule Art paint pen um, and a little bit of Metallic Calero on uh, some of the smaller mushrooms you'll see that, that are kind of glimmering in the light there a little bit. just to add a little bit of oomph. <laughs> and let me scooch mine over. Here is Anna's. Hers was super bright and cheerful and I loved it. So cute. And I love that she did um, a brown beard. <laughs> I just automatically thought white beard. I don't know why it's, I don't know why. But yeah, it was way fun. Thank you so, so much, Anna, for coloring with me. And we have another one scheduled. Me, Amy, my sister, and my stepdaughter, Anna, are all going to do a, co a page in here um, in April, which I actually don't think I put in my plans thing. Whoops. Um, and it is, where is it? I want to show you guys. It's one of the black background pages, and it's super cute. There it is. Oh, I even flagged it. Silly. We're going to do, we're all three going to do this page for April. I'm super excited. It'll be fun and cute. So there's that one. And then I had another buddy color with Christina's Art Corner and Squishy's Coloring. She's brand new on YouTube. Go follow her. Um, she's very sweet, and I really love, I watched her finished pages. I think she's only got two videos up so far, 
So go follow her. Um, but she's got some wonderful, she uses a lot of acrylic paint pens and things like that. And I love it. I love her style. Her, her coloring style is amazing. So go follow her. Um, but anyways, we did, we all three did this a page out of portraits, the small squares, um, Disney portraits art therapy um you know what i don't think i've ever said the illustrator if the illustrator is even in here hmm i don't know anyways we all did marie for m um for uh, make disney makes colorings abc um color challenge 2024 um, her letter was M for the month and I just used straight acrylic paint marker <laughs> for everything for the little gray shading on Marie and all the bows I kept it super simple this was one of those nights where I just I wanted to color something cute and simple with my paint pens and this is what happened let me show you um, Christina's and Squishy's. They both did an amazing job. Amazing, amazing job. I love their backgrounds and um, they both did an, a, a wonderful job. I, I didn't even think about putting the, um, the blue on the eyes like Christina did. So thank you ladies. Um, I'm excited that we're going to continue to buddy color in this book. And just so you guys know, we're doing B for Bambi for Meg's hashtag. Her ABC hashtag is B for April. And we're going to do Bambi. So yay, another one done in there. And then I have two done in um, Yururi sketchbook mouse book. Um, it's called Field Mouse Yururi's Journey with sketchbook is how I translated it. And it's by Makeko and Anatomy. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, I did okay in here. These were my first two pages in this book. I was a little nervous because I love them so much and I didn't want to ruin them. Um, I did this one with um, Disney Meg's coloring, Megan. Um, and I used polychromos, white and blue, Thule Art paint pens, and is that it? I think that's it. Those are the only two things I used. Wasn't very happy with my flowers. They just didn't come, my blue flowers. They didn't come out very well, but I liked everything else about my page. <laughs> and then the white Thule art is on the window, but that's mine. And I liked my window seal. I liked my other flowers, everything except for my blue flowers. They just did not turn out the way I wanted them to, which is, I mean, it happens, right? So that's mine, but look at Megan's here. Isn't it adorable? I loved the color choice for her little dude on the window seal. I loved her um, flower color choices and her big flowers in the vase really were amazing. I loved those. So thank you so much, Megan, for buddy caroling with me again in this book. I appreciate you. And then I did another one trying to practice with my, um, Albert Durer pencils. And I was happy with all of it except <laughs> my flowers, my purple flowers. I don't, I kept trying to fix them and it was making it worse. And I kept making it worse and more worse and worser. <laughs> I know that's not her. Anyway, minus the purple flowers, I actually felt pretty okay about what I did with all the Albert Durer shading. Um, this side's not as good as this side, but again, I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. I used, like I said, my Albert Durer's mostly, um, but I did use white and silver um, Signo pen, gel pens um, as well. The white is on the, the duck feathers, and then um, the silver's just on this paintbrush here. But I also have um, some 
glaze, jelly roll glaze here, and then jelly roll start us on the wings and on the ribbons over here. So yeah, the rest of it is Albert Durer's activated, I guess I should say, with water. So those are the two I got done in here. Then I had a buddy color in A Million Baby Animals with Lu by Lulu Mayo. And we, um, it was with Stephanie Louise Argyle um, on Instagram. And I <laughs> have a very shiny background. It was my, um, my Ohuhu um, metallic paint for the background. And then I used my Brute Fruner squares and my Brute Fruner macaron set, which is my pastel set. Um, I also used um, glaze on all, almost all of their eyelashes, black jelly roll glaze. Um, I used some gold signal on the bow and um, white tule art paint pen on for accents. And there's also um, jelly roll stardust on some of their clothes, their hats and scarves and things. So yeah, had a lot of fun with that. And here is Steph's. Hers was super cute as well. I had a lot of fun buddy coloring with her. Thank you, Steph, for the buddy color. I appreciate you. And that was number three, I think, actually, in this book that I've, yep, because before I did buddy color and Kate's Coloring Havens community buddy color. And then now I have this one done in there. So yay, lots done. And then I got my first page done in Luna and it was a buddy color too. <laughs> I had lots of buddy colors in March um, with the lovely Jordy from Jordy Colors on YouTube and Instagram. And that's flagged for another time. Apparently, where's my, <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we did this page. I used my Prismas and Super Golden Markers and Jelly Roll Glaze. And this is a Color Your Hoard as well. But the Jelly Roll Glaze is just on her buttons, on her shirt, and on the clip on her bag, and on the butterfly, and her shoes, and the ladybug, or ladybird, whichever you call it. <laughs> um, the Super Golden Markers was just on the ladybird, ladybug, um, the red. That's why he's sh shimmery. Um, but yeah. And then this, oh, I'm sorry, Jelly Roll Stardust in the middle of the flowers. If you can see that. It's pretty faint. Anyways, let me set mine aside. And here is Jordy's. She went with a beautiful color palette, and I love hers. She was saying that she wasn't so sure about hers, but I thought it was adorable. So thank you, Jordy, so much for your buddy color. I can't wait to do another one with you. And, um, yeah, thank you for helping me get my first page done in this book. Luna by Maria Trolley. Did I say that? I don't know. And then, um, I got another page done in Johanna Basford's Worlds of Wonder. This is a buddy color with Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, she didn't quite get hers done, which is completely fine, but I was going to show mine because I did get it completed. Where is mine? Hello? I'm having issues. <laughs> there it is. And it was this owl page. Oh, okay. We're back. We're, we're up to bigger pages now, so... Let me zoom out. Okay, here it is. 
I used Black Widow's white acrylic um, paint uh, splotched on that background with Neocolor 2's. I'm still trying to train myself with Neocolor, so that's it's not the best, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I tried to do the glowy effect, but I don't know if I was very successful. There is Calero watercolor paint here on the moon and um, what else did I use I already said the black widows I think but yeah I had a lot of fun with this page um, I am getting better with my neo colors but I'm not quite there yet, I don't think but it's okay I love my owl um, so yeah um, when Kate gets hers um, completed, I will put both of them on Instagram together so you guys can see her lovely page as well. Um, I saw a little bit of hers because she did a whip um, live the other day um, and she was working on it. So it looks like it's coming along wonderfully. Um, but yeah, so I got, that's my third page done in here. And I got my first page done in this little gem. It is um, Disney's Large Squares. Um, I think it's translated Little Dolls. And it's an adorable book. I actually have a whip in here for the movie Up. But I did this for Megan's... Um, for her movie she picks a disney movie every month and um it was peter pan this last month for march and so i did baby tink <laughs> baby tinker bell and i really loved how this came out um i used oh dear i didn't have a stick em. um i have my other page just set up here hold on let me look where it is Prisma colors for the pencil work on the flowers and their stems and everything. Um, I used Neo Color 2s on the background and white Tule Art paint pen for the background as well and on the water droplets um, and around her wings and everything here. Um, I used some diamond stickles, which I don't use stickles very often, but I do have them um, and they're just wonderful. That's the diamond color. And yeah, I was super excited. She turned out real cute. And I had a lot of fun with that page. Um, I do have a, like I said, I have a whipping up. I just barely started to um, base with some alcohol, who alcohol markers on that one. But yeah, got this one done and I love it. And then I got another buddy color done in the Matchstick Mouse Floral by Morgan O'Brien. This is a project book with the lovely Lauren from Low Colors. And we did this page. And this is the first time I did a gray mouse. <laughs> In these books I usually go with brown and I did her um, gray this time just for something different um, I used polychromos I used Thule art um, paint pen for the white on the on her tail and on little friend worm I used some jelly roll glaze on her eye and his eye and um, Ohuhu metallic paint for the big background and some stickers. <laughs> and let me scooch this over if I can. There we go. And put Lowe's here. As always, she did an amazing job. I love, love, love her work. Um, I like the color choices that she chose and it looked awesome. So thank you, Lauren, again, for another buddy color. I'm looking forward to our next one. 
Like I said, this is our project book, so we're going to be coloring in this book again in April. And we have this one picked out. So I'm excited to get started on that. Next, I have another buddy color that I did with my sister in Matchstick Mouse Springtime by Morgan O'Brien. And she chose the duck page, <laughs> the duckling. And this goes for my hashtag forever friends, March or M-A-R 2024. Um, and it was Prisma's Thule Art Paint Pen Glaze and a jelly roll glaze and then i think that's all i used as far as supplies and um, well stickers i got tulips and things out on there but had a lot of fun with that let me scooch mine over and let amy put hers up here she did a wonderful job i loved her duckling we both did pink flowers <laughs> And I had a wonderful time coloring with her. And thank you, Amy, so, so much for the buddy color. And I have another one that I did for um, St. Patrick's Day. I loved how this one came out. I used polychromos this time. And white Signo gel pen. Where did I use white Signo gel pen? Oh, on the eyeball, on on her little eyeball, the dots. Um, I also used uh, super golden markers on the flags and on the worm's hair, um, and the little dude's hair uh, flag as well. Try to show you the shine there, and the hat of the little bug on on her hat um and this was a buddy color with laura from uh kaleidoscopic colors thank you very much for buddy coloring with me and let me move mine over so that she can have hers pop up here and we did a lot of things that were similar actually <laughs> I chose a lot more green in their their um, clothing, but other than that, we did a lot of same types of things. Um, thank you so much, uh, Laura, for the buddy color. It was wonderful, and yours turned out so cute. Love, love, love your page. Thank you, thank you. So that was that in this book. And I did an... Uh, experimental thing. I've been seeing a lot of um, pages where people have done like a whole page in new colors or pastels or whatever have you and cover the whole image and then just use um, like acrylic paint pen or anything to outline the image and that's like a glowy effect. So I tried it. I tried my hand at it <laughs> again using my Neo Color twos, um, and I did this fish in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Sorry, and it was just the Neo Color twos and a little bit of super golden marker. Um, for a little bit of shine around the bubbles. It kind of worked. I'm, I didn't do a terrible job. <laughs> I had fun doing it. So yeah, that's the second one done in here. I just, it was fun to try something new, you know? I think I only have one other page done in here and that was, yeah, that was this one. So there's two pages done in Magical Dawn now. And last but certainly not least, 
Uh, let me take it out so it's not shining in your faces. I did um, the community color, well not community, it, it's just a color along, Frogs and Friends color along with Disney Makes Coloring and Amanda Colors. Um, March's page was this one and I don't know if you guys can see this but I purchased this um, Imagine Shimmer Spray. I have gold but I also got glitter and oh my gosh that glitter spray you guys it comes out super even and the entire god this is, doesn't do it justice the entire page just shines it's amazing <laughs> i need to use it more um i'll get it in just a second and show you guys i should have showed it in my haul video okay guys i had to insert this because i forgot to show you in the video this is the is it gonna focus uh, imagine sheer shimmer craft spray in the, the sparkle and I got this on Amazon um, and you just shake it up really well and it just and you just one little spritz on the whole page and it's like really super fine glitter and it's very cool <laughs> I was really happy with it I really liked the um, here's the gold it's sorry you have to shake them up because they they separate. Anyways, I have the gold and I like it just fine, but the sparkle, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now, back to the video. Video that I forgot. Um, but yeah, it's just glitter and it's, oh, it's very fine, but it's so shiny. And these um, were the dual hybrid um, Pentel gel pens pentel metallic gel pens um and i used a hoo hoo um alcohol markers sorry brain and what pencils did i use frogs and friends i used prismas no i think i used polys Sorry, it's not on the page. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used Polly's um, to shade over the alcohol marker. But yeah, it's shimmery. So that's the first one done in Frogs and Friends Volume 2 by Chris Reiniak. I didn't say that. Um, and I have the digital version. That's why it's on a piece of paper. And we have one already picked out for April to complete to do these until once one a month until the, the book is complete. Um, sorry for the glare. And I think I showed you this in my plans video, my April plans, but we're going to do this one in April. Super cute. And here, so you know, that's what the, the front looks like. Um, but yeah, that is it, you guys, for my finished pages. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really love, love, love to have you in the community. Um, we are going to be doing our second giveaway here coming up shortly in this sometime this week, probably Wednesday. I'll get that video out. I will get the color along video out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.